Hi, my name is George Dubendak. I'm the site manager of the LRI 304th Street Landfill. And today's topic is landfill leachate. Today, I just wanna kind of distill this down to five basic points. What is leachate? Why we collect leachate? How we collect leachate? How we transport it off site? And then how we go about managing that once we transport it off site to help protect and improve the environment. What is landfill leachate? Landfill leachate is any water that comes in contact with the waste at the landfill while it's here and while we're disposing of it and managing it. As we're disposing of the waste, putting it in place, you know, we're using dozers and we're using waste compactors to properly place and manage the waste. When it rains, that water that comes in contact with the waste is all treated as leachate. So, why do we want to collect this leachate generated by the landfill? Well, in very simple terms, if we can collect all of that leachate, then we know that that wastewater is not going into the groundwater and cannot potentially contaminate the groundwater. That is the big reason for the liner systems that we build on the bottom of the landfill and why we collect all of that leachate. Every bit that we collect, then we can manage it appropriately to protect and enhance the environment. So the landfill is designed and graded um, with a series of, we call them cells, but they're like separate areas where waste is disposed of. The liner system, which is a robust liner system that's over four feet thick, is constructed in those cells. And it's all graded to common areas like this one right here, where we have pumps installed in these pipes down on the bottom of the landfill. And those pumps come on when the liquid level reaches a certain point and they pump the leachate out of the landfill and to the tank farm. After we collect the leachate from the landfill, we need to store it for a little bit before we can haul it off site um, for treatment. So this is the leachate storage tank farm at the 304th Street landfill. This is where we store the leachate when it gets pumped out of the landfill. And then from here, we load it into trucks and we truck it off site. After we transport the leachate from the landfill, it, we need to treat it prior to it being discharged. What we are doing now here, you'll see more of this, is um, working on a new leachate pretreatment facility where we will treat all of the leachate prior to discharging it either to the city of Tacoma or Pierce County. The technology implemented in this facility is a MBR, which stands for membrane bioreactor, and it's a biological treatment process to treat our wastewater or our leachate. The investment here made by um, Waste Connections represents about a $20 million investment in managing um, the wastewater generated from the landfill. Inside our new Hidden Valley leachate pretreatment facility, we have several processes going on here, but the primary one is behind me where we actually um, implement the membrane part of the membrane bioreactor. That's where after the water has been reacted through the biological process, we filter it prior to discharging it to the sewer. When they receive our wastewater now, it will be pre-treated to meet all of their standards. So thanks for watching. Um, as you can see, this is our new Hidden Valley leachate pre-treatment facility. Um, we're proud of what we do. We're proud of our place in this community. We manage every piece of waste that's generated in Pierce County, and we do it in a safe, environmentally effective way. And this represents a significant investment for LRI and Waste Connection. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos coming out about different topics associated with waste management here in Pierce County.